How's it going YouTube? It's been a while. Haven't made a uh, walkthrough video in quite some time. But uh, here we're at my uh, personal pole barn. My dad and I have uh, put this up ourselves with the help of family and friends. Got the rig here. Show you what we got going on inside. I've been lazy with making videos. I've been posting little clips here and there, but between selling a house, having a baby, and building this thing, just haven't really had much time to walk around with a video camera. But today, day before Christmas, figured have the day off, may as well get the uh, the floor sprayed before we pour concrete, before we do radiant floor heat and then uh, pour the concrete. So here we are, we got some, some uh, tarps on every door. Already sprayed, another tarp. Already sprayed up the walls and did the roof slopes. Got two big heaters heating stuff up. We're trying to dry things out a little bit. But this is what we got going on. It's 40 by 64 pole barn. I'm gonna put two inches of spray foam down on the ground. And uh, up there we got our camera mounted on time lapse, so we should be able to get some quality videos this one. See you when we're uh, finishing up. Oh, and the bottom two feet we're gonna spray today as well. We, we left that for uh, the guys doing the final grade, just so they could uh, run string lines without our phone being in their way. But yeah, I'll see you when I'm done spraying. So here we have me going around spraying the bottom two feet of the wall. Um, and then in a second here, you'll see me starting to do the flash pass, which I uh, I go into a little more detail of why we do a flash pass first on these applications um shortly here you're gonna see a close-up in real time of me spraying right now here we have me spraying the bottom two feet up close uh usually i put music to these videos but i've been having weird copyright issues even with the the default sounds so i just go and explain what i'm doing so right there in the bottom corner i uh I do the flash pass in that corner just so I don't have to mess around with uh, doing a flash pass all the way to that edge when I'm uh, doing the whole barn flash pass. It just makes it a little easier doing it here. Uh, but yeah, just putting in a nice pass. I'm using the Carlisle ST1 gun with the D chamber in it, which for the Fusion users, that's a 5252 chamber. Um, but yeah, put about inch, inch and a half on first, and then I go through and I just go up and down tie everything all together, make sure I get uh, seal off those posts so there's no gap behind there, letting air in. Uh, and here, coming up, I'm going to go into detail of why we do the flash pass, just for a little more education. Well, I'm going to do a voiceover on this one because uh, in the background of this video, you can clearly hear the radio playing, which is making a lot of copyright issues with me. So. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is explaining that here's the flash pass being done, or is complete. Uh, and right here I'm saying the reason we do a flash pass is because if you don't lock in all that dirt and rock with a flash coat, when you're putting a full 2-inch pass on, the ground, uh, the, the loose dirt on top of the ground can lift off the ground. You'll have bubbles. You have to go around, cut those out, and uh, respray them. So nobody wants to do that. Um, but yeah, lock in that drain right there, like I'm saying, and, uh, I'm going to do a time lapse of the two in final two inch pass going on and I'll just, uh, keep you guys right here. Uh, so here I am going back and forth, back and forth with the, uh, two inches. Um, looks pretty cool going in fast motion here. Kind of satisfying to watch. Uh, coming up is a video of me in real time spraying. So basically that's that's all it is right there is try to develop a wave and ride the wave on through and get your depth. And it's the best way to insulate a barn floor like this because it's all one monolithic insulation pad basically. Uh, you just want to keep checking your depth to make sure you're not putting too much or too little because then you'll use either too little or too much concrete and here i am explaining some more all stuff. right everyone that's a wrap um here we got two inches of foam on the dirt floor uh 
so now this Saturday or this Sunday, my buddy and I come over here and lay all the tubing for the radiant in floor. Um, I'm really glad that we were able to get this done because it's been a long time coming. The uh, when they did the final grade, it was a monsoon outside, and the the stuff they put down was just so wet. There was standing water everywhere in here um, when they first did it. I was pretty worried that we weren't going to be able to get this thing dried out. But um, luckily we had the building insulated already, minus the floor. Um, so we were able to bring these salamanders over here and uh, get it all insulated, um, keep it nice and warm. And it, it dried out quite nicely actually, so that's good. Um, and now we're on to the next phase. Uh, concrete's up next after the radiant floor heat. And uh, then we'll be able to start doing stuff in here, start putting some storage stuff in here to get rid of my pod that I have out there for the last six months. But, oh, actually, check this out. It's holding 68 degrees in here. It's not running outside. It's probably 20 degrees, 25 degrees or so. So that's nice. Um, but, yeah, I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video.